Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to talk about the samples I pulled in last week's Sample Sunday series and then we're going to pull some new samples. So the first one I want to talk about is this Murad. This is the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Night Cream. This cream felt so nice on my skin. It does have retinol in it. I'm not sure exactly the percentage of retinol it has because it doesn't really say on here. I don't even think it says on the box. Let me look at the box to make sure I'm not wrong here. No, it doesn't really say. Um, but it feels very, very good on the skin. It's very moisturizing. I didn't notice a huge difference in like wrinkles or anything like that, but I did notice that I didn't break out, which is very important. When you're changing up skincare so frequently, then you want to make sure that these things are not going to break you out. You want to like patch test them. So where I typically patch test, I pa typically patch test on my neck. And then if it doesn't break me out or anything, then I know that it's okay to put it on my face. So patch test, good. Then I put it on my face and it worked out great that way as well. This is a very moisturizing cream. So if you're someone who has dry skin, I think you're going to enjoy this. But I don't think it's so moisturizing that people with other skin types couldn't enjoy it as well because it is a night cream and nighttime you want to stick on a thicker cream. So I think this is a very good cream. I would consider purchasing the full size. I liked it. The next thing is the Orlando Pita Play. This is the Atmos Heat Protectant Treatment Hair for damp or dry hair. So you can use it on your hair damp or dry. It doesn't really matter. This smells very good. I really enjoy that Orlando line. I think it's a very good line. I enjoy like creams that, I enjoy hair products that are in like the cream style. I think these are very easy to use. The kind that are like the pump spray where like you're supposed to spray it all over your hair. They're kind of confusing because like if you try to spray it all over your hair, you get like inconsistent like the way you put it on this here because it's a cream you can just literally spray it on your hand and then you can just put it into your hair and because you can use it wet or dry you don't have to worry about okay I forgot to put a heat protectant in you can put it in your hair wet or dry it doesn't matter I like the way this smells I like the way it works so I would consider purchasing a full size the next thing is the uh, Ahave this is the Dead Sea watered mineral hand cream this is the sea kissed scent I guess that's the scent of it this is another nice hand cream so I am enjoying most of these hand creams I'm trying right now because my hands are becoming very very dry I don't know if you can tell it or not but they're really red like the redness is here so of course it didn't help that this week I decided to scrub we have tall flooring so I decided to hands and get on my hands and knees and scrub that so it didn't help that I did that so now my hands are extra tender I probably should have worn gloves that's like an afterthought though but these are very helpful for dry hands. I feel like this is a really good one. Between this one and the other one that I tried this week. Let me put my cup over here a little bit closer. The other one I tried this week, which was the L'Occitane. This is the hand cream. These are both really, really good. So if I had to come down to it to which one I would choose, I don't know. Honestly, I feel like the L'Occitane is very, very good for dry skin as well. The Ahave is really good. So I think it just depends on what brand you prefer. So honestly, I think both of these worked really well. I would purchase either one of these or both of these. The next thing is the... Cumit, I have no idea how you pronounce this. It starts with a Q. It's Q H E M E T. Biologics. This is the Amala and Olive Heavy Cream. This stuff is amazing. Oh gosh, guys. You only need the tiniest little amount though. The first time I did it, I put like, it says like quarter size. I think that's exactly how they like describe it. I had to go on the website to figure out how to use it because on the back of here, it doesn't give you a whole lot of instructions. No instructions whatsoever, to be honest with you. So I went on to Sephora and I found the instructions for how to use it, the directions for how to use it. So you're basically supposed to put a quarter size amount into your hands and then rub it around and then put it into your hair. Well, I did that. But the problem was, I don't think that's I think that's too much for my hair type because I have very thin hair type. Now this does say it's for very dry coarse hair. I don't have coarse hair, I have very thin hair. I have thin hair and thin hair particles, thin hair strands. So for me, I can't use as much as they're recommending, but oh my gosh guys, if you want your hair to hold a curl, put just a tiny size amount. Let me show you how much I ended up having to use after I figured out, look, you put too much, my hair looked like a greasy mess. This, wait, that's, oh, that's not quite enough. That's all that I could use right there. That's teeny tiny amount. That's like the size of the tip of an eraser, like a uh, school eraser or whatever. Let me grab something to wipe that off because I don't want to just throw it somewhere. So like a school eraser, like at the tip of that pencil eraser, that's all you need of this product because it will hydrate your hair. It makes your hair look very smooth. It holds the curl. If you either want to do, like if you have natural wavy hair and you want it to do it that way, or if you are trying to curl your hair with a curling iron, either way, it's going to work absolutely amazing. So if you purchase this, it's going to last you forever. This one little one ounce container is going to last me quite a bit of time because like I said, you only need the smallest amount. So I would consider purchasing a full size of this and the price of this when I looked on Sephora was not expensive. So I would definitely consider purchasing a full size. If you're someone who has very dry hair and your hair doesn't hold a curl very well, definitely look into this. I totally recommend it. 
The next thing is the Renewed Hope in a Jar Puff Philosophy. This is the Refinishing and Refining a Moisturizer. This was an okay moisturizer. I didn't think it was that spectacular, to be honest with you. I feel like the Murad did a better job. This one was just okay. I didn't feel like I was overhydrated or underhydrated. I just felt like it was just okay. It just felt like I put on a moisturizer. Nothing real fancy, nothing real spectacular. So for me, this is nothing that I'm like, oh yeah, I need to purchase that. So I wouldn't purchase that. So no. The next thing is the Urban Decay. I was going to say Ole Hendrickson. I'm not sure why I even thought that. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin, the highlighting fluid. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not huge on like liquid highlighters. It just, they're hard for me to figure out how to use because I do have dry skin. So if I tend to put these on under my foundation, then they kind of disappear. If I put it on over top of my foundation, I feel like it kind of pulls my foundation up. So I had a hard time figuring out how to use this. I ended up using it in the corner of my eye a couple times throughout the week, and that worked fine. But I just don't understand liquid highlighters. I have quite a few of them in my collection, and to be honest with you, I hardly ever use them. The only kind that I use are like the Becca ones. I have the Becca, she has a highlighters. And what I do with those though, is I put them in with my foundation, or I will put them on before my foundation, so it's on all over glow. This one I feel like is not supposed to be like, like that though. I think this one, unless I'm using it wrong, it does come with a little applicator, so that's why I'm confused. Are you supposed to put it all over? Or are you supposed to just put it in certain places? I don't know. For me, I'm just confused by the product, so I probably wouldn't purchase it just for two reasons. One, I don't know how to use the product very well, and two, I don't really like liquid highlighters. The next thing is this Julep. This is the Length Matters Mascara. So here's what the packaging looks like, and then here is the actual tube. This mascara is absolutely spectacular. This is now, I have now three loves for mascara. I love the Stila Huge. I love the, oh my gosh, I forgot my other one now because I'm loving this one so much. Stila Huge. I love the, oh, It Cosmetics Superhero. And now this one. This one is so good because the wand, the wand to this, let me show you how small the wand to this is. It's su super, super nice. You guys know I always goof when I'm putting my mascara on. When I was using this wand, I didn't have that problem. The wand is a perfect size for me, someone who's very messy with their mascara application. So I love the wand to it. You could use it on your lower lashes, which I actually did this week. Believe it or not, I actually put mascara on my bottom lashes. I really do love this mascara. It gives me length. It gives me volume. I'm wearing it today so you can see what it looks like. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. So it's not anything that's super dramatic or anything, but it definitely gives you length. It gives you volume. It's easy to use. So I would totally purchase this. This is a really, really nice. And then we have our perfume samples. Oh, wait, we have this over here too. We have a facial cleanser. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. It says it's for all skin types. It's rich in amino acids. It gently cleanses your, cleanses your face and eyes. I didn't really think that it was that spectacular, to be honest with you. I almost used the entire packaging up because I was like trying to love it. Do you ever get something that you're like, you know, I'm going to make sure I try this well enough so that I know that I love it or I hate it. And I just didn't have a, a good feeling either way, honestly, because I feel like it, it did a fine job of cleaning, but it just didn't feel like it was anything spectacular. I love my Murad cleanser. My Murad, what's it called? I have it sitting here. The Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser. I love that cleanser because it's, it's great for acne prone skin. This one was just fine. It was kind of moisturizing, but not really. So it's just something that it was like, meh. So I wouldn't purchase it. Then we have our two perfume samples. So our perfume samples this week is the Toka. This is the Amelia. Oh my gosh, guys. I want to purchase the full size. I need to just start buying all Toka perfumes. All the Toka perfumes smell so, oh my gosh, amazing. This smells really, really good. I will remember to try to put the notes in this time. I know I forgot to do that last week. I'll try to put the notes in for you guys for this perfume because it just smells so good. I highly recommend it. If you like the more lighter feminine scents, I think you're going to love this. The next one is the, this is the Calvin Klein Endless Euphoria. I don't know, something about Calvin Klein lately. I used to love Calvin Klein, like the CK ones, and they they have one that I got for my husband. It's the one that where it looks like the bottle's flipped upside down. When you said it, I don't even know what it's called. But anyway, I used to love most of the Calvin Klein, f like, fragrances and stuff. But lately, most of the ones I've tried from him, I'm just like, no. The, I don't know if I'm getting men's perfumes or men's colognes or something, but this just was like, no for me. I don't, I don't like that whatsoever. Again, I will have the notes listed for you guys. Just in case you are on the same scent fragrances that I like, then you know that this is maybe one that you want to pass up. Or you can look at the notes and be like, whoa, no, I like those fragrances, so you're crazy. Okay, so now let's go ahead and pull our samples for this week. Ugh. So we're going to start with hair care. So we're going to pull two out of the hair care basket. The first one is, oh, we got two here. 
Okay, and that's not how it's supposed to work. We have the Living Proof Restore Shampoo and Conditioner. So here's what it looks like. So I'm excited to try that out because I have been actually really enjoying most of the Living Proof line, except for the ones that smell like pepper. I don't like those. There are certain ones for some reason in the brand that smell like pepper and ugh, I don't like those. The next item in the hair care basket is the Fido. This is the Fido Color Protect Radiance Mask. It's for color treated highlighted hair. That sounds just right up my alley, so I'm excited to try that out. I have tried some other things from Fido. I had a Fido mask that I purchased at Ulta, and to be honest with you, I didn't really love it. So, And Fido is pretty expensive. Fido is one that actually, when I was on the cruise ship, they recommended that I use that for my hair because they said that it would be good for my hair. And I just wasn't impressed with the one I bought. Maybe I bought the wrong thing. I don't know. Now we're on to makeup samples. So I'm going to pull two out of here. So the first one is... We have something from Ulta Beauty. This is the Ulta Beauty Lip Butter in the shade Love Bug. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it looks like a bright pink. That is definitely not a fall color. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't even get these things open. It doesn't help that since I did decide to clean my floors, all of my nails decided to break off. Yeah, I'm really smart this week. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's like Barbie pink. Look at that. Let's watch it. Yeah, that's a, that's a bright pink. Oh my goodness. I'll try it. It doesn't smell like anything. Not that I can tell anyway, so I'll have to try that out and see how good it is. I'm not sure. We'll see. It seems pretty hydrating and very emollient, so might be good. All right, now let's go on to the next sample. We have Bare Minerals. We have the Bare Minerals. What is this? This is the Bare Minerals Statement Luxe Shine Lipstick. So we have two lipsticks, which is great, just in case that one is like way too pink. Maybe this one will be better. So this one is in the shade Seriously Red. So we went total opposite ends of the spectrum. Look how bright red that is. That's like a Christmas color. Let's go ahead and swatch that as well. This tube feels very loosey-goosey. Like it feels like the lipstick wants to go down by itself. I don't know. That's weird. Holy smokes, guys. That's super pigmented. Look how bright that is. That's like a... I think that's like a blue based red or just a true red. I don't even know. I just know that's a very bright red though. So we have some, oh, it looks like it might be a little staining as well. It's staining my hand here. Oh, let's get that off before I get it all over myself. Okay, now we're moving on to the, this is the body care basket. So the body care basket you guys know is almost empty, which is great. So the first one is, ooh, we have something from Josie Moran. This is the Josie Moran Miranda, Duran, Moran, Moran, what in the world? This is the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil in Honeysuckle Vanilla. Mmm, let's smell this little baby. Let's pull this little seal off, maybe. Okay, either my sniffer is broke, or this isn't very scented, so I don't know. I'll have to try it on my body to see how it smells on your body, because I know a lot of times a lotion doesn't smell like much. When you put them, when you're opening them, and then when you put them on and you start smoothing them into your skin, you can definitely smell it once it reacts with your body heat and everything. Okay, the next one in here is, oh, we have something from Pacifica. Oh my gosh, we got tons of body stuff today, this week. So this is the Pacifica. This is the Sugar Amber Dreams uh, Intensely Moisturizing Body Butter with Shea and Mango Butters. Ooh, I'm excited about that. Let's see what that smells like. Oh, it's got a seal on it, which is good little safety seal here. Oh my gosh. I was going to use my teeth and then I'm sure somebody would have fussed at me. So I won't do that. Okay. We won't do. Oh my gosh. I can't get it open. There it goes. All right. Let's put a little bit on my hand here so we can smell it. I think my sniffer's broke guys. I think it's broke because I can't even smell that one. No, I smell it. It's very, very light. Both of these must be very, very light scents, which is great because a lot of times if you're trying to layer a fragrance with a perfume, I mean with a lotion, then you don't want them to compete with each other. So they might be great for that. Now let's move on to skincare. So we're going to pull three out of the skincare basket because this is our giant basket. So the first thing is something from Skin Iceland. This is the Skin Iceland Iceland, Iceland Icelandic Relief Eye Cream. So here's what it looks like. There's a little eye cream to try out. I have tried other things from Skin Iceland, and some of them are good, and some of them are just okay. So we'll have to see how good that is. Then we have, what do we have now? Oh, we have something huge. We have a Clarins. This is the Clarins, the Multi-Active Joir SPF 20. It says it targets fine lines, antioxidants, date cream. 
Uh, it's a broad spectrum SPF 20. So here's what it looks like. Here's the packaging. Let's see how big this is. It says half an ounce. So that's a pretty decent size moisture. I mean, uh, sunscreen. I've been watching Dr. Dre. If you guys have ever watched her channel before, she is so informative about skincare. She is a dermatologist. So if you're looking for some skincare recommendations, definitely check her channel out because she is just on top of her game with telling you guys the things that are good for different skin types and everything. And she always recommends that you wear a sunscreen. So, and then since it's a broad spectrum, that's even better. So I'm going to try this out even throughout the winter. You guys should be wearing an SPF every day of the year. She like describes it on her channel. It's kind of like brushing your teeth. Would you skip a day brushing your teeth? No. So you put sunscreen on. Even if you're staying inside, you just want to get used to being in that habit. So I'm excited to try that out and see how good it is. Now, one more. This is, ooh, Crez. This is the Crez Greek Yogurt Foaming Cleanser for all skin types. So this is a line that I know I've tried some things from before and I did enjoy them. So we'll have to see how good that is. I don't know. Pretty sure I've tried that before though for some reason. For some reason that, that just kind of like sticks out in my head. Okay, now we're going to pull. I'm gonna grab this basket here. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped this. This thing we might want to change this out. The two perfume samples for the week. So the first one is we have Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. I have the Donna Cat Donna Cat in. Donna Karen Cashmere and I love it. It's a perfect winter scent. It's for some reason whenever I wear that fragrance, it just reminds me of cozy, comfortable sweater. So I'm excited to see if that's the same as the actual Donna Karen. Okay, then we have Clean Rain. Ooh, both of these scents sound amazing. So Clean Rain is just a real. I love a lot of the fragrances from Clean. Mm, yeah, that smells good. I love Clean. Clean's a very nice subtle on if you like your fragrances a little more subtle I think you would like the clean line so that is everything that I'm going to be playing with this week so now let's get into the giveaway for this week you guys know I've been doing a giveaway each week on my channel so the bag from last week was this one right here this is the Sephora bag and it's full of all kinds of goodies in here I told you guys everything that was in here last week my winner for this little giveaway is Selena Terry Selena you won the giveaway for this week so if you could send me an email or email me your mailing address so I can mail this out to you then we have a new bag so the new bag for this week is the Too Faced bag this is the peanut butter and honey palette uh, bag so this is one that if you purchased around the time when they were selling the peanut butter and honey palette then you could get this bag at Ulta so here's a little goodie bag still has the tag and everything on it for you so I'll tell you everything that comes inside of the goodie bag for this week you get lots of little samples in here so you guys can try some things out as well so we're gonna have the philosophy this is the miracle worker night cream let me put these somewhere so I don't mix them up with my samples. I don't want to sample your stuff. Then we have the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. We have the Ole Micro Sculpting Cream. We have the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. We have the It Cosmetic CC Cream. Two of those. We have the NARS. This is the um, Velvet Matte Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 30. We have the NARS, the Radiance Primer, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, the Peter Thomas Roth Razel, Razel, Laser Free Resurfacer. We have the CoverGirl. This is a little sample from CoverGirl inside of here. I can't pull it apart. It's a little foundation sample. Then we have the Lancome Genifique. Then we have the Bombay Gardener, Gardener, the Hand Cream. Then we have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Samples, another It Cosmetic CC Cream, the Corez Wild Rose. This is amazing, you guys. Whoever gets this, you're going to love this. I absolutely love this uh, oil. It's really, really nice. And then the last thing is the Tarte. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation Sample. So these are all the samples that are in this week's giveaway. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway is leave me a comment below letting me know that you'd like to be entered in the giveaway and then your name will be entered and next week I will announce the winner. So anyway, I'd love to hear what samples you've tried out this week, whether you found some good ones or you found some bad ones. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. <music>